Hi guys, my name is Joffrey and today we're going to talk about uh, General Mariano Alvarez and the municipality named to honor him. This was my thesis during my master's and later we'll be accompanied by uh, Mayor Marisol Torres to assist us or enlighten us with the founding of General Mariano Alvarez as a municipality. So first and foremost, let's try to learn who was General Mariano Alvarez. It is a well-known fact that Cavite was the bedrock of Philippine Revolution. It is one of the eight rays which symbolizes the eight provinces that uh, took part or participated during the uh, Philippine Revolution. And General Mariano Alvarez was helpful. Uh, he was very significant with the liberation of many towns in Cavite. He was the father of Teniente Santiago Birata Alvarez, uh, famous for being called the Skidlat ng Apoy. He was the hero of Battle of Dalhican. And he was also a uh, Katipunero. So, uh, when the Philippine Revolution uh, broke up or started, there were two factions or chapters of Katipunan in Cavite. Uh, the uh, Magdalo and the uh, Magdiwa. So, the uh, Magdalo was practically headed by um, Baldomero Aguinaldo, who was the uh, cousin of General Emilio Aguinaldo, and the Magdiwa which was headed by General Mariano Alvarez. Um, so when the uh, dispute of control as to who would lead the revolution in Cavite, uh, the Magdalo or the Magdiwa, uh, practically the Magdalo took the uh, upland part of Cavite, which uh, like uh, Kawit and Imus, and the uh, Magdiwa were practically stationed in the lowland, like uh, Silang, which is near a big town, uh, Carmona and Indang. So today we have uh, uh, Mayor Marisal Torres to talk about uh, the founding of the municipality of General Mariano Alvarez Cavite. So the question I mean, Mayor would be, why uh, this particular town was named after General Mariano Alvarez? Uh, thank you, Prof. Um, actually, why tayo ni pinatawag ng isang General Mariano Alvarez ang ating bayan? Merong dalawang significant na tao na nag-suggest uh, ang mga pangalan. And ang uh, taong na yan ay si um, Assemblyman Jose Aironio at si Assemblywoman Elena Benitez. Na kung saan, si Jose Aironio talaga ang nag-suggest uh, mm -hmm. kay Elena Benitez na gamitin natin. Dahil uh, si uh, General Alvarez ay isa nga sa mga kapitonero no? mm -hmm. dito sa Tadakavite. No? At uh, that time, nung dinidevelop ang ating Quezon City, mm -hmm. kung familiar ka dyan, yung ating uh, tawagin ngayon na circle from yes, Quezon City, right. Pasay, and other area ng, mm -hmm. ng uh, Manila, mm -hmm. yung mga relocate dito ay dito sa GMA. Uh -huh. And that time, bago initiate nila yung pangalan nito, eh, tayo ay part ng Carmona. Mm -hmm. At tayo yung tinatawag na Barrio San Gabriel at Barrio San Jose. Mm -hmm. Tama kayo dyan, Mayor. Uh, practically, uh, during those times, Jose Eronio was the Minister of Local Government and part ng new society ni uh, Ferdinand Marcos was to relocate uh, some of the informal settlers from Quezon City at Dalin dito sa, sa bayan na to, later known as General Mariano Alvarez Cavite. And Jose Eronio, tama kayo dyan, Mayor, because Jose Eronio happens to be apo ni General Mariano Alvarez. Yes. The A in the Jose Eronio was apparently an Alvarez. And Heliana Benitez, apparently, because one of the barangay is named uh, Benjamin Tirona, Helena T. Benitez is apparently a Tirona. So, descendant siya ni... Uh, si Helena Benitez apparently is a descendant of the Tirona. Yes, Prof. Jo. Actually, no, yung iba, yung mga kabataan natin ngayon, pag sinabi nila na yung, kung kilala mo, yung barangay Nicolás sa Berata. Mm -hmm. The first mayor ng GMA ay Mayor Oni Berata. So, ang titig ng mga kabataan ngayon, ah, parang may Berata yan kasi yung naunang mayor dito, kaya dyan ipinangalan. But that's not true, no? Ang uh, uh, Nicolás sa Berata ay ipinangalan yan after one barangay from barangay or barrio sa Nusay ginawang limang barangay yan. Mm -hmm. At yung limang barangay na yan, yung Nicolás sa Berata, Gregorio de Jesus, Tenia Pichago, um, barangay San Jose, which is originally mm -hmm. Metro San Jose nga. So, Nicolás sa Berata ay wife ng ating uh, katipunero na si General uh, Alvarez. No? Uh, uh, and Barangay Gregorio de Jesus ay uh, relatives din yan, no? Apangkin ni uh, General Alvarez. Same din to Tenente Chago. 
Yes, Tara Mayor. Actually, yeah, Nicolás Subirata, because the first mayor of General Mariano Alvarez was Leonia Subirata. I'm thinking ng mga kabataan, this is associated with Nicolás Subirata. But Nicolás Subirata was actually the wife of General Mariano Alvarez. Tenyan Techago was happened to be Santiago Alvarez, which happened to be the only son. Okay, isang isang anak nila ni Nicolás Subirata at ni uh, uh, General Mariano Alvarez. And uh, Si Gregoria de Jesus was the wife of um, Andres Bonifacio, who happens to be pamangkin ni uh, General Mariano Alvarez. Je uh, Gregoria de Jesus was being raped by one of the general ni uh, um, Aguinaldo, uh, to be exact, uh, General Noriel, right after pinatay si uh, Andres Bonifacio and uh, his brother Procorpio in Mount Buntis uh, right after ng Terros Convention. And uh, Mayor, uh, bakit ang founding ng uh, uh, General Mariano, the municipality of General Mariano was March uh, 14? Ano bang uh, fundamental reason dyan? Actually, talagang intentional yung pagkakaroon mm -hmm. ng date ng March 14. At ito ay sa initiative din ng ating uh, assemblyman na si Jose Aronio mm -hmm. dahil ang uh, ating pong pangalan ng bayan na si General Alvarez ang kanyang kapanganakan ay March 15 mm -hmm. so a day before yes a day before ito yeah. ay ginawa nating uh, founding anniversary ng ating bayan uh, that's correct because uh, General General Mariano Alvarez was born uh, March 15 of 1818 in Nobeleta but during the war Dito siya practically nagtago. There were stories, Mayor, that because ang um, hinandel ng Magdiwa, which is the uh, hinihead ni uh, General Mariano, was practically Lola. Lola yung Silang, yung Carmona. And there were stories, there were stories na practically sa ba this particular bar barrio, San Gabriel, the barrios, sa no, si, nagtago, si General Mariano, nung, uh, during the war between the Magdala and the Magdiwa at during the time ng... By the way, Prof, baka ikat kita, no? Kasi mm -hmm. talaga, na, ano natin yun sa history, na isa sa mga pinagtaguan nila, ang Barrio San Gabriel or Barrio San Jose, na mm -hmm. kung saan, ito ay sabi nga natin kanina, ay part ng Carmona, mm -hmm. no? So, part siya ng Carmona, pero wala man tayo yung pangalan ng GMA at ng Carmona mm -hmm. sa history ng Cavite. Mm -hmm. Pero ang silang, na kung saan ay tinuturing mm -hmm. natin, Lolo. Oh, tama, tama. Diyan tayo nagmula. From silang, nagkaroon ng isang Carmona at ang Carmona ay nanganak ng isang GMA. Uh, tama yan. Uh, so, ang, ang, ang pinagmula ng Carmona was actually silang, it was the uh, biggest town in Cavite. In fact, Indang was also part of uh, silang at ang mga barrio niya ang uh, Alfonso Mendez. Uh, the other one, mayor in A, letter A. Uh, Alf Alfonso. Alfonso Mendez and the... Uh, Amadeo are part of Indang, barrio ng Indang. And Indang was part ng Silang. And dito sa, sa atin, practically, ang, uh, it was the biggest town is Silang and then Carmona. Uh, and then uh, barrio niya ang uh, barrio San Gabriel as well as the uh, barrio San Jose, which later uh, became the municipality of General Mariano Alvarez. Anyway, Mayor, uh, thank you for your time and thank you for imparting your knowledge. Para at least alam ng kabataan, uh, bakit o ano uh, rational or fundamental reason, bakit uh, our town was named General Mariano Alvarez? Maraming salamat din sa iyo, Prof. At tumaasa ako na marami tayong mga kabataan na matututo sa pamamagitan ng iyong chance. Thank you. Thank you, guys.